Welcome back, Ridge Lawn Eagles. We hope that you had a wonderful weekend. It is Monday and it is April 19th. It is hard to believe that we are not that far from the end of the year, but it's enough time for all that hard work that we need to put in. Speaking of hard work, our Ridgelawn reps were awesome on Friday, providing feedback from their team as well as other students that they followed up with in their classrooms for our ABC Countdown. So we do have our ABC Countdown ideas finalized. The ABC Countdown will be starting next Tuesday, April 26th, so we are excited for that. Alrighty, we have access testing this week and that is for our remote students that has been scheduled. Now make sure when you are coming to school you come around the back of the building and you're going to be entering by the gym entrance right by the playground. The EL teachers will be down there to meet you. Okay, this Wednesday, April 21st, we do have an 1130 dismissal that day. So keep in mind when we have our 1130 dismissals that means all of our students are remote students that day. Also keep in mind, I know that this messes us up a little bit, but our schedule has changed. Since we only have school until 1130 that day, our special area classes are changed as well. So please make sure that you take a look at that information your teachers post in your Google Classroom for Wednesday. Next week, we have our IAR testing, and that is for our third through fifth grade students. In-person in students will be taking it with your teachers and our remote students that have signed up via the survey are scheduled for that and every day will be in the afternoon with a 12.30 start. All of those students again will be entering our gym doors right by the playground. Reminders will be coming out about that. For our parents out there, today is our very first day of online registration. That will be opening up after 9 o'clock today. You're going to go through your Teacher Ease parent portal and you will be able to go on. Now remember you need to do this individually for each of your students and this is to register them for next school year. If you have a little one at home that maybe will be attending kindergarten but does not go to our school, you do need to call to make an appointment for registration because this is only for students that are currently students in the Chicago Ridge School District. Alrighty, we have some happy birthday wishes to share out. We have Nada Abu Sheikh in fourth grade. Happy birthday to you. Kamar Mohammed also in fourth grade. And Amr Samara in third grade. So we do hope that you have a great day today. All right, that's it for me. Off to Ms. Kazmarek and Eddie. Welcome back, Eagles. Ms. Kazmarek here with my pal, Eddie, hoping that everyone had a great weekend. Eddie, are you ready to start reading chapters four, five, and six in the Lemonade War? I'm definitely ready. The tension between Jesse and Evan is mounting. There's a lot of tension there. This week's challenge is going to be to draw your own Lemonade War poster. So how would you advertise it if you had a lemonade stand? Make sure you use lots of bright colors so that way you catch all of those customers' eyes. You know how much I like to draw. That sounds fun. You are quite the artist, Eddie. To celebrate all the money that our characters are making selling lemonade, we're going to wear green on Friday this week for the Lemonade War. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're about to announce the winners of last week's trivia contest. And don't forget, there'll be more trivia posted this week in your Google Classroom as well. Eddie, can you give me a drum roll, please? <laughs> Hey there, Eagles, and happy Monday to everyone. Here are our trivia winners from our first week of reading chapters one, two, and three in the Lemonade War. Here it goes. Congratulations to Natalie in pre-K, kindergarten, Damien, first grade, Antonio, and second grade, Lujane. All right, and for our third, fourth, and fifth graders, our winners are, here it goes, in third grade, we have Janan, fourth grade, Christopher, and in fifth grade, Mohammed, Sammy Mohammed. Congratulations to all of our winners. Looking forward to announcing next week's winners. Happy reading, Eagles. 
Congratulations to all of our winners. We'll make sure we reach out to you so you can get your super cool lemonade squishy stress ball that we shared last week. And this week's prize, we're excited to announce, we have lemon Rubik's Cubes that we'll be giving out to all of our winners. So make sure you're paying attention and answering those trivia questions. The PTA will also be starting to sponsor their online Scholastic Book Fair, so flyers will be going home for that, and there will be a link posted in Class Dojo. Make sure you use the Ridge Lawn link when you're purchasing those books. Our quote of the day for today is, you can have results or excuses, not both. If everyone can now, please join me and Eddie in our moment of reflection. Please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey there, Eagles. Eddie here with my pals Dash, Kai, and Sam with another Kids Heart Fact for you. Physical activity doesn't just build strong muscles. It strengthens your bones and can improve your emotional well-being as well. This message is brought to you by the Kids Heart Challenge. All money being raised is due by April 30th, Eagles. Have a marvelous Monday, Eagles, and always remember our guidelines to success. Everyone is responsible. Always be respectful. Give your best. Look out for each other. Everybody matters. Stay safe. Oh, 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 oh,